What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick video I'm gonna show you how to clean your iCloud Drive storage that keeps on eating up your space within your iPhone storage device, okay? So this can show up in pretty different ways, okay? One of the ways is by hopping into settings in here and jumping straight into iCloud Drive and being able to see here storage which has been occupied or the other way is for example if you hop into settings and then down here you tap into general and then you tap on iPhone storage storage and you'll be able to also see here some space being eaten up by iCloud Drive itself. You can be able to see here for example gigabytes and gigabytes of storage down here. For me it's only occupying 57 megabytes right now but you might be experiencing a situation where you do have a lot of gigabytes being eaten up here by iCloud Drive. Now the second way is for example if you hop into your iCloud in here and then you tap on iCloud real quick and then you tap here on Drive you'll be able to see here some space which has been occupied. So either ways, I'm going to show you how to fix both of the issues so you do not have your physical storage being eaten up while you do have iCloud Drive. This means that the files are actually occupying double the space on iCloud Drive as well as on your iPhone physical storage in here. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of that issue real quick. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this issue and I pretty much think that this is not so fair but it makes a lot of sense and I'm going to show you why it makes sense and how you can actually get this issue solved. Now first things first I'm going to close everything in here. Uh, as you guys know we do have our iCloud storage and we also do have our physical on my iPhone storage in here. Now the physical iPhone storage is the storage that comes with your device in here. If I hop into iPhone storage I've got an iPhone 16 Pro which has a limitation of 128 gigabytes of storage. Now, every storage that you store here within your iPhone will fall into the iPhone storage category first. Now, when your iPhone storage is full, you can also buy a few gigabytes on iCloud and actually send your files to the cloud, okay? This can be photos, this can be, for example, uh, videos, this can be applications and a lot more. Now, what happens is, is that lately, even while having iCloud Drive, sometimes the iCloud drive storage occupy some space in here of your iPhone device and this is why first things first let's hop into the iCloud drive space in here real quick as you can see for example if I find iCloud drive right here and if I tap on it once I'll be able to see a message or a description down here which says that iCloud Drive is occupying 57 megabytes and this is basically your most recently accessed files and many files kept offline are downloaded to this device for quick access. The original files remain safely stored in iCloud. So what it's saying is that, for example, if you try to access a specific file which is stored in your iCloud Drive, your iPhone will temporarily download that specific file and keep it stored in your device for a few seconds or minutes or hours or even days. So you can actually access that specific file seamlessly without any issue and in a faster method so it doesn't need to buffer okay because otherwise if it doesn't download and temporarily save it into your device what will happen is you'll have to actually always re-download that specific file every time you try to access it now in order to get rid of that space what you need to do is quickly open up files in here so we're going to search for files as you can see we've got files in here if you're unable to find files you can quickly just search for files and you'll be able to find files right here. Tap once on files and then you'll be able to see if you go back and back here on browse you'll be able to see iCloud Drive on my iPhone and then recently deleted downloads and other folders as well. So we'll be tapping on iCloud Drive real quick. So over here you do have files which are stored in your iCloud Drive. As you can see we've got in here downloads and then we've got this little cloud and an arrow to download real quick. We've got QuickTime Player here with an arrow, shortcuts with an arrow. So these are files stored in the cloud, but they can temporarily be downloaded into my iPhone device if I want to access them. Let me quickly hop into downloads for example. As you can see in here for example, I do have a few files which is for example this one right here. It's a video which has this little arrow down here. 
This means that this file hasn't been downloaded yet to my iPhone device. It's stored in the cloud. If I tap once, as you can see, it shows waiting. It's currently downloading real quick. It's downloading from the cloud so I can actually play that specific video. Now that the arrow has vanished, that video has been downloaded into my physical storage and this will definitely increment the storage that is here in settings right here. If I simply close this and refresh it, this storage in here should increase increase a bit, right? So this is how it goes. Now, if I tap in here, see this video will immediately play. And even if I close files and I then quickly reopen files, this video will not download anymore, will open automatically. Now, this video will be downloaded and stored physically into my iPhone device. Even if I turn off my internet connection in here, my Wi-Fi and my mobile data, if I close files and I reopen it, it's going to be here. So how is it playing? It's playing because it's physically stored in my iPhone device. This means that this will be stored for a couple of days or even weeks. Normally it doesn't take more than a month and then the video will automatically vanish from your device and it's going to be stored back on iCloud until you re-download it. Now, the thing is, let me quickly connect back to my internet here. If you want to reduce the iCloud drive storage, if you want to reduce it and if you want to upload back the files only to your cloud, what you need to do is you need to first of all open up files go straight into iCloud Drive and then for example if you have different folders in here open up one of those folders and then you're going to be able to see a lot of files right so simply tap on these three dots in here and then simply tap here on size okay so if you tap on size first things first it's going to show you the list or the smallest file in here in a specific ascending order this is the smallest one now if you tap on the three dots again and tap again on size it's going to show you the heaviest file first which is this one occupying four gigabytes of storage okay so if i do the same thing tap on size it's going to go into the ascending order if i tap again on size it's going to show me in descending order. So what you want to do is actually sort all your files in descending order based on their size. And then what you want to do, you'll be able to see the size of the specific files and whether they're downloaded and stored into your device or not. Now, for example, I've got in here this video in here, which occupies me over four gigabytes of storage. This is a lot of space, which is actually being occupied into my iPhone device. So in case I want to remove this video from my physical storage and I simply want to keep it back on cloud, Cloud, all I need to do is simply press and hold on this specific file in here and then I need to tap on remove download as you can see that file now is being identified here with that specific arrow and the cloud in here icon and then four gigabytes this means that this file will not play anymore unless I download it for example if I tap once on it it's gonna start downloading again from scratch okay it's giving me an error because I do have some internet issues right now but see it started again waiting it's gonna start and it's gonna download into my iPhone device physically. Let me quickly stop it, okay? So this is what you need to do. We've got this one. It has been removed from my device. I'm gonna tap on the second one. This one is also downloaded into my device in here. So what I'm gonna do is simply press and hold on this file and then I'm gonna tap on remove download. Tap on okay and then the file will be removed from your device. For a specific reason, this one hasn't been, but this one, for example, I can do it on here again remove download and it's going to remove and I'll be able to see this little arrow down here. So this is how easy you can actually remove the files which are actually occupying space on your iPhone device, your physical storage and bring them back to your iCloud storage. Now, if you simply want to access each of these files again, just need to tap once on it and it's going to download and you'll be able to play it again. Once you're done watching, boom, tap on it, remove download and you're good to go. Now, the trick in here is to basically sort the files because you want to make sure that you are actually removing files which are occupying a lot of space. Otherwise, you'll be, for example, removing 100 files, but each file occupying kilobytes, which are very small, that won't make any difference or pretty much you won't be doing anything, right? So you wanna hop into all the specific folders, sort them up in here, and then follow this specific procedure. Again in here, and in all folders that you've got in here. Now, if you do not have any folder in here, if your files are directly here on iCloud Drive, 
want to tap in here, simply tap on the three dots, sort it out and manage the files immediately from here as well. So this is how easy you can actually remove the iCloud Drive storage, which keeps on showing up in here on iPhone storage for many people. In my case, it's not showing, but this is how you technically fix the issue of having here your iCloud storage occupying a lot of space here on your iPhone device. Now you can do this as well on a different iPhone model. If you do have a different iPhone model, no worries at all. The process is exactly the same and I hope this has fixed your issue. Now, if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comments section and I'll make sure I get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.